This indoor unit is referred to as an air handler. And so this is part of a split system, either air conditioning system or a heat pump system. This indoor air handler is also referred to by some manufacturers as a fan coil. And that's because there's a fan up here and a coil down here. Now the coil is a heat exchanger for the refrigerant to travel through and the fan is also referred to as a blower motor and it's moving the air across that heat exchanger coil. And so as we're talking about the movement of air down here, this is referred to as a return plenum. It's the first box on where the air is gathering before it goes into this indoor unit. Right here, there's a typically a filter slot and so the air filter is there to uh, protect the bottom of the coil from gathering dust because that coil will be wet during air conditioning mode. So you're gonna need an air filter either here or somewhere in the duct, or you may even have what's called a filter return air grill in the wall of the building. And so this unit is gonna be installed inside the building, either maybe vertically like this or horizontal right or horizontal left or the downflow position uh, but you're going to want to know as an apprentice which one is the return side and which one is the supply side of an air handler. And so over here is the supply air side. And so this is the supply plenum. It's the first box where the air is exiting this indoor unit. So how to know this when you just have the unit and you're installing it is the supply side will have a smaller hole. And if you look down inside, you'll see the blower wheel. And so if you were to identify where the return side is, you're gonna see a larger hole and you're gonna see the bottom of the coil. Now there is an addition that you can add over here in the electrical compartment. So you see the blower wheel is here, you'll see an electrical compartment here, and you may have to add electric strip heating into this unit. Likewise, if you're working on an existing unit, when you look down in here, before you see the blower wheel, you're gonna see this electric strip heater. Now an electric strip heater is either the primary source of heat on an air handler connected to an air conditioning system or it's a backup source of heat for an air handler connected to a heat pump system. And how this is powered, this is just a direct conversion from electricity to heat so it's not as efficient uh, to provide heat with this compared to a heat pump. And to learn more about checking the refrigerant charge of A2Ls, R32, R454B, as well as R4 to 9 and R22, make sure to check out our new second edition, Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning book, available over at Amazon and at acservicetech.com.